based on just what I'm seeing right now, is there's not enough love put into it. And I feel like this is more a love letter to the fans, but the, this this game should not be a love letter to the fans. This game should be a love letter towards the developers. It must be to their utmost respect, and they have to show that they have taken care of their games, their saga, their legacy with respect. And that's what I care about. And this is not the way to do it. Okay, lads. Let me start with something important that I want to specify before we get into the video. I'm a massive Gothic fan, all right? I wouldn't say massive in the sense of I'm Polish or German myself because you guys are on, you guys are another breed <laughs> and I respect that. But uh, no, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Gothic. You can find Let's Plays uh, of the whole fucking series on my channel, except for maybe Gothic 1 and the people that dislike it, Arcania, even though I have streamed those before. Uh, and I've also done the Risen uh, Saga for 1 till 3, Titan Lords. So I'm up there with wanting to get the remake. I'm very excited for the remake. I don't have like as much love for the first Gothic game compared to the second Gothic game. But I still love it equally and I want it to be successful so that the second game comes out. That's for me the most important thing. But I want to specifically talk today about the Collector's Edition. And this is very ironic because... I talked about Star Wars Outlaws Ultimate Edition as of late, and I complained that uh, the price of 130 euros is too much because you basically get cosmetics and everything is digital and you don't really own anything. There's no physical stuff. Here, you do get physical stuff, but I want to kind of talk about it. The Collector's Edition of Gothic Remake got a trailer as well, a 54 second trailer or so on the THQ Nordic YouTube channel, I believe, on Alchemia and G GameSpot maybe, and multiple orders, uh, m multiple YouTube uh, channels. Uh, but um, there's a couple things I would like to know because they don't actually specify it on the description for the details, and this is what I'd like to know. So this is currently priced, priced at least, uh, I'm, I work with the euros. It's 200 euros. I believe it's also even 200 dollars. It kind of has the same rate right now. So we're already talking about a collector's edition that even with inflation, it's gone up by a standard 70 extra euros. You know, collector's editions usually were between 120 and 140 euros. Most of the time they just sell, sold as 129.99 euros. That's kind of like the standard price. But this is many years ago, uh, and now prices of normal base games have gone up to 80 euros, which I can't afford anymore. I'm literally, <laughs> I've become a patient game. I'm just waiting for <laughs> games that have discounts. But um, yeah, so they released a trailer. They released the stuff you're going to get. And the thing that I want to talk about is strictly the amount of stuff you get for the money you pay for, which is for me very important. And also something else that I see in the image that I very much dislike. Let me first off start with where the fuck is the gameplay? We're still like, we're getting a, <laughs> a trailer for a collector's edition and we don't have any form of gameplay. I don't know how the game looks like. I'm sure it might be wonderful. It might be absolute shit. I don't know, but I can't expect to just get a pre-order ready for a collector's edition in order to play a game that I haven't even seen yet. It's, it's such an odd, uh, I don't know, mechanic. It sounds very odd for me to say that, but it's just very weird. I, d I don't understand this. I could assume that maybe they want the pre-orders to happen so that they can use the money strictly to probably finish off whatever they needed to do with the game, because otherwise, I do, unless they want to have vacation, I, I don't understand why they would do this so early on. So you get the base game, which probably will be priced 80 euros. Which, again, I feel like that's still a bit too much. But you know what? If they want to be uh, seen as an AAA game and they want to sell as such a game, be my guest. Uh, I feel like if they really work well on Gothic and the game is completely worth it, then sure, the ADRs will probably justify the price of the game. Uh, since it's not a remaster, it's a complete remake. It's just something different. Now, aside from the base game, we now have to think about 120 extra euros uh, on stuff that you want to get, like goodies and the like. So usually with normal collector's editions that are 130 euros, you had a 60 euro base game, and then you had 70 euros left for the goodies. 
And now you have 80 euros for the game and probably in this sense, 120 euros for goodies. So we're talking about 50 euros more than usual. And this is also added with the price of the base games being up uh, by $20, uh, 20 euros. You see, I'm, even I'm mixing it up. So you get the sleeper mask, which is a wall mask, 34 centimeters in width and 24 centimeters in height. The thing that I wonder right now, because they didn't specify it, and I'm not that... I, I can't see it on the image. I don't know what materials are being used. I don't know how cheap or how luxurious the wall mount is going to feel like. What's the weight? Uh, is it going to be like some cheap plastic or silica or whatever you want to use for materials that you could have just crafted yourself with a fucking 3D printer and just called it a day, but you're just you're paying this now for the collector's edition. So I... I need to know the materials and the weights. Uh, otherwise, I feel like this might actually be a waste. It's it's gonna be the fucking what was it? The Fallout 76 <laughs> handbag or whatever the, the the plastic bag you get or the the zipper. Bro, that was a mess. And I feel like this sleeper mask might be it. So now we have genuine leather wristband. Here's the thing though. I've worn. I had my faces in life, and I used to wear such wristbands. Uh, most notably from Assassin's Creed. And it was the same material. It looks the same. Now, I'm going to say it. It sucks completely to wear. But this is my opinion. So obviously, don't take this as factual information. I hated it when I wore such things. Especially in the summer. You're going to start sweating. This thing's going to feel uncomfortable. It's very strict to your body. You really can't, like, it's awkward with sleeves and stuff like that, especially when you have sleeves that close up instead of are loose. Uh, it's just generally, yeah, I, I, I think I still have the Assassin's Creed wristband somewhere, but I, I just have it, like, loose as a as how it looks. Um, the leather notebook. See, I might be weird here, but I feel like notebooks or, or stuff you can write on in a collector's edition or just stand... It's just such a weird concept because it's so temporary like you're gonna probably write stuff on it and at some point you're done with it and there might be stuff you accidentally write and you regret and you have to clean it up and it's just not that good if anything again i'm gonna talk about it again give me art books bro this game is a remake we're talking about a complete different outlook to a game that's like 20 plus years old Give me a digital... Oh, sorry, I was talking about digital art books. Give me an actual physical art book instead of a notebook because I can actually do something with it. And it's, it's, it's wonders to look at it in the future. I don't want to see no diary or agenda I had used this notebook for. Like, it's pointless. And then the original soundtrack. In the faces, the original soundtrack. So, <laughs> you have 120 euros... And it's like the soundtrack itself, they usually sell for like 10 or 20 euros. So the sleeper mask, the leather wristband and the leather notebook are being sold for 100 for the collector's edition. Holy shit. What the fuck? Why? And this is the other thing. This is what I wanted to talk about at the end of this whole thing. The strictly limited to 7,500. This is such... Man... I hate FOMO mechanics. People don't know what FOMO means. It's just the fear of missing out. Because if you're not one of those 7,500, you're likely never going to get it unless they sell it on eBay. And they'll probably put it on a higher price without the base game because it probably needs a code or something and you can't resell it. What the fuck? This is just such a... I've, I, can I say it? Can I say it? I hate to say this for Gothic because I love the series. But it's a scam. <laughs> That's it. It's a scab. I don't know how else to put it. Bro, the stuff you're going to get and the absolute... Bro, <laughs> you're paying like the two-thirds of a, like an Xbox <laughs> S console on, on a game and a couple goodies. I'm just there like, bro, what the... And then it's also strictly limited. So it's probably going to like sell, sell out because people are going to have that fear of missing out. And I don't know, man. I feel like, I, look, I'd love to give the developers money for the fact they're remaking Gothic. I feel like it's such a beautiful concept and I'm so glad finally 
finally someone decided to do it because gothic is not that well known like in the broad sense of gaming scales it's very beloved in some countries very beloved uh but outside of that it's just rarely known it's such a weird i think i feel like gothic is such a weird game to talk about because when i'm talking in forums or youtube videos and stuff and i'm interested in it then i see people with like-minded uh just thoughts about the game and what they felt about it but if i have like my friends or people i meet and i mention this game i'll be honest in my whole life and i've been playing game uh, gothic for like more than a decade decade i've only met one person that played the game <laughs> that's it <laughs> the thing is i the 200 euros i feel like it's still overkill but if the game is that good and they 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 showed the their absolute love towards it which i haven't seen enough of then it doesn't justify paying the 200 uh, euro price for the stuff you're getting if this was 130 euros i'd probably accept it because the base game is 80 euros and then you're paying 50 euros for a leather notebook wristband a war mask and a soundtrack i feel like that's kind of an actual fair price and if they want to increase it, think about that on the second game and make their collector's edition. If you want to make 200 euros out of that, then make sure you actually give a little bit more than what you're doing right now. Because honestly, if you made the art book, it would have been 10 times better. It still wouldn't justify the 200 euros. See, this is the reason why I'm talking about it. It just doesn't justify the 200 euros. If this was 130 euros, I wouldn't be making this video, all right? This is all purely because of the amount of money you have to spend. It's such an odd concept. I just... No. It's just... Look, I, I'll, I, I'm not going to do it myself. <laughs> as much as I would like to have a sleeper mask, well, I probably could get it made on Etsy or whatever. And the wristband, I have no interest. The notebook, I have no interest. The original soundtrack is going to be, be available anyways uh, outside of that i'll probably just listen on it on youtube uh thank everyone who posts it there because it just it's so odd man it's so odd i feel like the the the, the one thing that also just completely pisses me off is just the limitations because i'm going to assume the original soundtrack the cd disc or whatever is also could be going to be limited and i feel like it should just be standard in the game to have a soundtrack next to it man you open the case and you have two discs and the disc on the back is the soundtrack i don't know like if anything i believe uh, risen 2 dark waters from piranha bites uh, actually had two boxes one box for the soundtrack and the dlcs and the other one for the base game and you paid way less than whatever they're gonna put out there now and this was on release it's just such a such an odd thing to to just decide to put the price like that i don't know whose idea it was it must be the higher ups but to me it doesn't make any sense and i look man like i said at the start of the video i fucking love gothic and i want this to be a success but this is not the way to do it there needs to be gameplay the game's gonna probably be out within a year or a year and a half and there's there's right now nothing to show for it but a collector's edition if the game if the gameplay trailers or whatever turns out to be complete shit or what i wanted it to happen then i'm just not gonna feel like hey i, I want to pay the collector's edition because this game is what i wanted it to be the, the gameplay i've seen on youtube that they've shown is what i wanted to see on the remake but it might also just be not what i want on the remake and then i paid for something and i'm gonna be absolutely devastated because i have a project of a game or like i have multiple products within the collector's edition and i'm gonna be disappointed because the actual main product the game itself has been a disappointment and i don't want that i want gothic to succeed i don't want there to be a stain on the name because even though i did enjoy for example arcania some people may dislike that I liked it for what it was. I don't think it's gothic at all, but I enjoyed the story. But I will have to say, games like that are staining the name of gothic. And now it's not called gothic anymore, the fourth installment. But it definitely left a very sour taste towards the overall series. And it's because other developers decided to work on what Piranha Bytes was doing. And now we have another developer working on what Piranha Bytes used to do. 
And I get the feeling, based on just what I'm seeing right now, is there's not enough love put into it. And I feel like this is more a love letter to the fans, but the, this this game should not be a love letter to the fans. This game should be a love letter towards the developers. It must be to their utmost respect, and they have to show that they have taken care of their games, their saga, their legacy with respect. And that's what I care about. And this is not the way to do it. That's, that's my opinion. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'll put some nice, calm, gothic music in the background for you to enjoy us as I'm talking about this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Thank you all for watching again. Bye.